beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. So as you can see by the title, today we are talking about how to revise last minute, last minute cramming revision for exams. This was a hugely voted for topic. Now before we get into this video, I wanna tell you some of my credentials. Who do I think I am to be telling you how to revise last minute? I'm gonna keep it short and snappy. Number one, I am Nigerian through and through. There's no, there's no mix in this genetics. All Nigerian, all Nigerian in my family. So last minute, lateness, kind of just who I am. I've done last minute my whole life and I know how to do it. I know how to do it with confidence and style. Good or bad, it is what it is. Number two, I've done it. I've absolutely done it. GCSEs, AS level, A level, year one of medical, year two, three, four, five, all the way through medical. I've been through the British education system, key stage one, two, three done it, passed it, got the degree. Very expensive. Last minute revision, I don't claim to be an expert in many things. I'm somewhat of an expert in this topic. If you're watching this right now with an exam that you need to revise for last minute, I've been in your shoes, I'm here with you and I've gotten through it. I've gone through it and so can you and I'm about to tell you how. So click thumbs up on the video because that will let me know if you found it helpful. Leave me a comment, send it to a friend, share it with a friend who you want to pass to um, and subscribe for more videos. Let's get right into it. Step number one on how to rise last minute is not to panic. I'm not saying this in a kind, sweet way like, oh babe, don't panic, you'll be okay. No, I'm saying this because you do not have the time to panic. Panicking for exams is a privilege that is reserved for those who prepare on time. I distinctly remember preparing for my third year exams. I'd started very late. Oh, 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 it was bad. And I remember being in the library at one point. I think I'd already been there for 12 hours. I bumped into a friend. This friend was a beast beast at revision. She would start revising from day one. She would write up modules that we hadn't even done yet. We hadn't done them, but she had already written them up before the lecture so she could go there and know what questions to ask the lecturer. And I, I would look at it and be like, nah, fair play, fair play. And I will never forget this. I walked into the library, I was feeling quite stressed, but I was quite proud of myself because I was getting through it. I felt like I was making progress. I was really cramming a lot of knowledge in a short space of time. I bump into this beautiful girl, intelligent, wonderful girl, and she's having a breakdown. She, there are tears in her eyes. She's so stressed and she, and she looks at me, I'll never forget this, and she says, I've only been through everything three times and it's just not sticking. And I'm, I'm there like, bam, bam. There I was feeling proud of myself that I've almost been through everything once. Li literally, literally. And in that moment, as she wanted to delve into, you know, a little sit down, panic, cry zone, I thought, actually, actually, I haven't earned that privilege. That you, you're allowed to sit there in panic because you've been through the material three times. For me and myself, for me and my life, I have not been through them once, honey. We're in different boats. You're swimming, you're cruising. When you're cruising, you know, you can, you can throw stuff overboard because you've got plenty. But actually, if you're swimming for your life, you better focus on that swimming, honey. You better not get distracted by the dramatics and the theatrics from the cruise ships over there, okay? Because you need to swim. You need to stay afloat. So last minute, people, as much as you'd love to sit there and cry, like, it helps nothing. It's just going to give you a headache. And that is not optimal for revising, okay? Yes, maybe you could have started revising earlier. But here we are yet again, and we don't have time to panic. All we have time to do right now is pass, and panic is not part of that process. So bye-bye, forgive yourself, moving on to step two. Step number two is to tidy your environment. Now I'm very much aware that there are different stages of revising last minute. So someone's last minute revision can be four weeks before the exam, another can be one week before the exam, and some of you, like I've definitely done in the past, it can literally be the day before. If you're on the day before the exam, if you literally have an exam within about 48 hours, don't tidy. You don't have time to tidy. You just change and go to a clean environment. So go to a library, go to an office, go to somewhere. And um, I would say a coffee shop. Me personally, I don't revise well in coffee shops. There's too many distractions. There's too many food options. They close too early. Go somewhere that you can revise. If your usual place of revising is a mess, 
don't revise there because actually the clutter that you see will be clutter in your head and it will scatter things. Half a day spent cleaning your room is worth it. When you wake up in a messy room, you can feel stressed and like everything is all over the place and that is not the zone that we need to be in. We need to be single-minded and really focused in order to pass these exams last minute. My third tip for how to revise last minute is to make a plan. The thing with last minute revision is that you can feel like it is all way too much and there is no way to achieve it. Having a plan will bring a little bit of peace inside because you can look at it and say, actually, if I stick to this, I'll be so much better off. Plan out your time, what you are going to do and when. My fourth and final tip for this video is to prioritize. I know you might be thinking, how do I prioritize? I have so much material to go through. There is always, there is always a theme to an exam. Ask people in the years above who have done it before you, look through past papers. If you are revising for multiple exams at once, find the overlap because there is, especially in medicine, there is a lot of overlap. The whole point of an exam is to make sure that you know certain material. There will always be in every exam some material that the examiner really wants to make sure that you know. I'm gonna keep it short, I'm gonna end it there and let me know in the comments if you want a part two to this video where I'll tell you how to actually, physically, learn the information last minute. But I really think it's important to apply these tips first before we move on to the next. And I don't wanna waste your time because chances are, if you're watching this, you've got some revision to do. I wish you all the best in the exams. Never doubt yourself, you can 100% do it. When you're in the crux of the situation and all you have is the exam and the right now, do what you gotta do, cram, cram and then relearn out and then we'll reassess further down the line how we cannot be in this situation at the moment. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to leave me a comment, let me know what you think, share it with a friend who might also be coming up with exams. I will see you guys in part two of how to revise last minute. XOXO, the expert of last minute revision. And I don't say that lightly, absolutely. It's not something to be proud of, to be honest. It was very stressful, very stressful. Wouldn't, would not recommend, would not recommend.